Well, Jeff, fortunately for you, you've been traded to a team that has a great chance to make the postseason. Unfortunately for you, you come here as a member of the National League and not a chance to do what you were hoping you could do here. Yeah, I feel more like a cheerleader than anything else. A cheerleader in limbo, if that makes any sense. So I'm just here enjoying the time and getting to meet all the guys and uh, putting a smile on my face. And uh, it's all fun and games. And then once the game starts tomorrow, we'll, we'll uh, go hop over the AL side and, <laughs> and uh, you know, root for those guys. But like I said, it's just having fun with it, trying to keep it as professional as possible and not trying to be a sideshow. So. <laughs> Speaking of sideshows, you had to be living under a ground to not hear the rumors that were swirling around you pretty much all season long. Mm -hmm. For you, are you just thankful to have this over with and done, and now yeah. you can focus on your new team and not worry about anything else? Yeah, you know, I mean, it gets tough after a while, especially since it started last year in, in July, the trade talks. Um, you know, you try to put them in the back of your head as much as you can, but sometimes it's just hard, to, you know, to really eliminate it and really concentrate on what you need to do. So now that it's done, you know, I'm able just to work on getting to know my new teammates, getting to know my new catchers and coaches, and and uh, and go from there, and, and really try to make a playoff push. And a lot, of, a lot of baseball left to be played, but uh, I really enjoy where I'm at right now and, and how things are going. And you get a nice park to pitch out of too for a yeah. pitcher, isn't it? Nice big park, yeah. and an amazing defense behind me too. So I get to just. Uh, Throw the ball out there over the plate, let them hit it, and let them pick it and catch it behind me. It's outstanding. Before I let you go, i got to ask you, because now that you're in the American League, you're going to have an opportunity mm -hmm. to be facing Derek Jeter probably a lot more often than you ever thought. Mm -hmm. This is his last All-Star game. It, what does it mean to you to have a, someone like that here? Yeah, it's really exciting. I was able to face him this year at Wrigley yeah. um, earlier in the year. Um, had a good game. He's one for three off me. He got a hit. <laughs> I punched him out once. That's so, good. You know, That's good, yeah. Give and take, right? But, uh, yeah, he's a legend, a living legend. So the chance to get to watch him here for his last All-Star game is exciting. And, and hopefully things go great for him and gets a few hits. And, and an MVP would be pretty sweet, too, I'm sure, to send him out with. Well, listen, enjoy the rest of the season. I know there are a lot of Blue Jay fans who are really wishing that you weren't with the Oakland A's, <laughs> but it uh, could be worse. You could have been with the Yankees or the Orioles or Red Sox. <laughs> there so. you go. At least I'm on the West Coast. There you go. not playing you guys All right. Much, thanks so. for uh, joining thanks us. For appreciate it. All right, guys, that's Jeff Samarja representing the National League now a member of the American League. <laughs>